something incredible. When an opportunity comes along, we want to decide, should I take the opportunity or should I not take the opportunity? How do you decide? First of all, you decide, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. I want to do it. Beautiful. Now, then you decide, well, you think to yourself, before I decide, is it within my ability? Yes, I will do it. Is it not within my ability? No, I won't do it. You try to estimate what's your ability at the time. If I can do it, I'll, I'll say yes. If I can't do it, it's beyond me, I'll say no. That's actually a mistake. The truth is, once we decide to do something, automatically our ability becomes bigger. Now, how do you know that? So I'll tell you, it's a Pusik and it's a Rashi. In Parshish Yisro, the Pusik says, V'yata im shamaya tishma'u l'koli. And now, if shamaya tishma'u, if here you will hear, which means if you accept on yourselves to do what I tell you to do, Hashem says, then tishma'u, you'll be able to accept even more in the future. Rashi says, what's the idea? V'yata im tikablu alechem, if you accept on yourselves to do it, Ye'erav lachem mikan ve'elech. It's going to be sweet to you from here on in. Shekol haschalas kashos. Because all beginnings are difficult. Now again, let's get this Rashi nice and clear. Rashi says, what's the idea of yata? And now, if you accept on yourselves, you'll be able to accept on yourselves. Rashi says something very, very straight. And this is incredible. It applies to everyday life. He says like this. Let's go backwards. Rashi says... All beginnings are difficult. It's a mechil, it's actually a medrash. All beginnings are difficult. Kol haschal is kashos. How do you get past the period of time that's called the haschala, where it's no longer difficult for you? Says Rashi, accept on yourselves to do it. The acceptance moves you from the period of time where it's difficult, the haschala, the beginning, to beyond the beginning. Just the acceptance. Rashi doesn't say, get started, take action, do something, and then it'll be easier. No. The acceptance, the decision to, to do this thing, that's all that it takes to actually make it easier. Now, Rashi doesn't actually say it's going to be easier. He says it's going to be sweeter. Now, there's a separate discussion by itself, but let's, let's take it one at a time. First of all, the main thing we want to say here is, if you decide, all of a sudden your ability becomes bigger. That's all you have to do. So, before you decide, don't decide based on your current ability, because as soon as you decide, you're going to have more ability. So you shouldn't say, listen, I really don't think I can do this. It's beyond me right now, because as soon as you decide, you suddenly have more ability. Now, how does that more ability work? So there's a few different things. Rashi says, it's not going to be easier for you, but it's going to be sweeter for you. What does that mean? See, usually what you say is, at the beginning, kalas, 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 so it's difficult at the beginning. But after you start, it's going to be kala, it's going to be easier. But Rashi doesn't say that. Rashi says, Ye'erof, it's going to be sweet, it's going to be sweet to you. So what's the idea? There's a concept that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. What that means is that when you're in a difficult situation, it's going to be difficult, understandable, but the emotional suffering that's involved is optional. You can choose to look at the difficult situation as something beneficial, so you can deal with it in the most productive way. You don't have to choose to look at this in a difficult thing. As a, another way of saying it, in trouble, to be troubled is to have your troubles doubled. If things go wrong, don't go with them. There's no reason to lose your cool and to get totally upset. It's understandable, but it's not helpful to lose yourself when the problems happen. If things go wrong, don't go with them. Rashi here is saying that if you accept on yourself to do this project, even though it might be difficult, it's going to immediately become sweet to you. When something's sweet, even though it's difficult, you don't mind the difficulty. It doesn't matter. You've rendered the difficulty irrelevant. And because you've done that, you have more of an energy and more of an enthusiasm to actually get the job done. But Rashi says the way to get there is to decide, to accept on yourself that you're going to do it. So this is an incredible idea. Once you accept on yourself to do it, it's automatically sweeter for you and now it's easier. So before you decide to do it, don't say, I can't because it's going to be really hard. It is hard, and it is maybe even beyond your ability before you decide. But once you decide, you suddenly have more of an ability to do it. Now, one reason is because psychologically you feel in a better mood. It's sweet to you. Well, if it's sweet, I'll, be, I'll do it even though it's hard. But there's another reason. Chazal tell us, In the way a person wishes to go, in that way, they lead you. You get special siyat to the Shmaya. Hashem helps you once you decide, I want this, I'm doing it. Hashem helps you. Now, people say, listen, 
That's not true because I look around and I see I want a million dollars and I don't have it. Well, you don't really want a million dollars. If you really, really wanted a million dollars, you'd be running after it in a serious way. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Hashem may say, listen, this person, it's not good for them to have a million dollars. That's another story. But if Hashem says you can have it, you first have to show that you want it. So if I just say, well, I want, I want, I want, that's not really wanting it. The word ratzon, which means want, comes from the word ratz, which means to run. If you really want something, you run after it. You don't just sit there and do nothing. You run after it. That already, Hashem says, if you're running after you're showing internally at least that you really want something, that means that I'm going to give it to you. You have a ratzon, b'derech she'adam roitze lelech, in a way that you want to go, Hashem will help you do it. So how does that work? There's two different ways. The simple way is, as soon as you have a desire to do something, psychologically, you suddenly notice the, the opportunities as they come up. That's one idea. But this Chazal is saying different. This is saying as soon as you decide to do something, as soon as you want it, which means you decide, I want that, I'm doing this, then automatically that activates Hashem helping you. That activates the Yatid So the decision itself actually boosts your ability. So when you decide something in the future, next time, think about this Pasuk, think about this Rashi, and don't say no so quickly. Think, you know what, as soon as I decide, I'm going to have more ability. Thank you for listening.